there's a long held belief that Apple devices can't get viruses. But is that actually true? Well, at Certo, we've been helping people secure their iPhones for over 10 years. So we've seen it all when it comes to iPhone threats. So let's go ahead and dive in and set the record straight. Hey there, I'm Ron from Certo. So if you're concerned about security threats on your iPhone, you're not alone. We trust our devices with everything from personal photos to banking details. So it's important to understand just how secure they actually are. And that's why in this video, we'll take a close look at whether iPhones can really get viruses, the types of threats they're vulnerable to, and some simple yet powerful steps to keep your device secure. But up first, let's clarify what a virus actually is. So a traditional virus is a type of malware that spreads by replicating itself, usually through infected files or software iPhones don't get viruses in this traditional sense, largely because of Apple's strong security controls like restricting app downloads to the App Store. But that doesn't mean your iPhone is invincible either. So while traditional viruses might not affect iPhones, other types of malware and hacking threats can and do. So let's look at some of the most common ways your iPhone can be compromised. So one of the most concerning threats to iPhone users is spyware. Spyware secretly collects personal data, tracks your location, and get this, can even watch you through your phone's camera. In recent years, spyware unfortunately has become more accessible and really popular among jealous partners or individuals wanting to monitor others. This type of malware often works invisibly in the background, making it hard for users to actually detect. Now, another common way hackers target iPhone users is through phishing attacks. These deceptive messages, usually disguised as emails or texts from trusted sources, aim to trick you into handing over personal information or installing malware on your device. You see, hackers might send a message claiming there's an issue with one of your accounts, urging you to log into a website to go fix that issue. But this is just a trick and the website is actually a clone designed to steal your credentials. Or they may direct you to download a malicious app disguised as something trustworthy. Keyloggers are another serious threat to iPhone users, capturing everything you type on your device. iPhones allow you to install custom keyboards for added features like emojis or a new language, but Hackers can create their own malicious custom keyboards designed to record sensitive information. Now, once installed, these hidden keyloggers can capture anything you type, like passwords and messages, putting your private data at risk. So your iCloud account stores a large amount of personal data synced from your iPhone, like photos, contacts, and even location history. An iCloud attack happens when someone manages to log into your iCloud account gaining access to the sync data. These attacks are often achieved through phishing or weak passwords, allowing hackers to retrieve and even delete personal data remotely. A zero-day exploit is an unpatched flaw in iOS that hackers can use to access your device. Now, it's called a zero-day because developers have zero days to fix it because it's already out there being used by hackers. These vulnerabilities are often used in sophisticated attacks, such as the Pegasus spyware, and are designed to operate without the user's knowledge. Now, although rare, zero-day exploits are highly dangerous because they allow hackers in before Apple can release a security patch. Connecting to public Wi-Fi can put your iPhone at risk of various threats, like man-in-the-middle attacks. Here, a hacker intercepts the data you're sending and receiving, potentially capturing login credentials, private messages, and other sensitive information. Malicious Wi-Fi networks are set up to look legitimate, tricking users into connecting and unknowingly sharing their data with hackers. All right, now that we've covered different ways your iPhone can be compromised, let's look at how you can protect yourself. So here are six powerful steps you can take to keep your device safe from hackers. First up, one of the best ways to protect your device is by regularly scanning it for threats with a reputable security app. 
Certo Anti-Spy offers a powerful deep scan to detect spyware, keyloggers, malicious apps, and more. Thanks to Certo's unique scanning method, it can uncover threats that other security apps might miss. And as a viewer of this video, you can get an exclusive 10% discount on Certo Anti-Spy just by following the link that's down in the description. Next, regularly update your iPhone's operating system to get the latest security patches from Apple. You see, Apple frequently releases these updates to fix vulnerabilities, so whatever you do, don't ignore them. Next up, be cautious when opening messages or emails from unknown sources, especially those with links. Hackers often use phishing to steal credentials or trick you into downloading malware. Always stick to downloading apps from Apple's official app store, which has strict security checks to keep you safe. Avoid third-party app stores because they can contain harmful malware. Jailbreaking disables built-in security features, making your phone more vulnerable to malware. So for the best protection, just avoid jailbreaking altogether. Now, if you think you're a high-risk target, enable lockdown mode on your iPhone. What this does is it's a feature that restricts certain functions to protect against advanced spyware like Pegasus. So can iPhones get viruses? Technically no, but they're still vulnerable to a range of other threats like spyware, phishing, and zero-day attacks. By following the steps we've covered today, you can greatly reduce your chances of falling victim to these types of attacks. Thank you so much for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more tips on keeping your phone protected. See you next time and remember, stay secure.